In this lesson, we're going to look at some more advanced floor and ceiling options. And the first thing I will show you is how you can lower a floor inside of a room. And what I'll do here is I'm going to lower a section over in this part of the room. So I'm going to actually use my draw room tool here. So I'm in the rooms tab, select draw room, and then I'm going to create a rectangle here and close this up. So now we actually created a new room right here. But I wanted to lower this section and what I need to do is I'm going to make sure I hide the ceiling and let's select a negative floor height here. Let's select negative one meter. And then I'm going to hide all the walls. So when I click you'll see how the walls turn transparent. If we click 3D now and go in you'll see that we actually created a lowered part here in that room, right there. So it's a negative value of one meter, right there. We are back into 2D, and next I will show you how you can create a raised floor section. So we're gonna raise up a section of a floor in the room here, and I actually prefer to use custom objects and the custom floor tool. So I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna left mouse click and create a zone over here that will be my raised floor and if you remember you can grab a hold of the nodes and readjust any way you would like and then I'm gonna click on the zone and the object, object property menu will appear and I'm gonna create a one meter high stage floor so I'm gonna select altitude one meter thickness one meter then I can go in and decide on the colors or materials that I want this raised floor to have. And I would like the floor material to be, let's pick a tile so we can clearly see that. Let's do a white tile. Then on the sides of the raised floor, we'll select the side material. Let's do a gray color. The bottom, we don't need to worry about the bottom material. We go into 3D. Here we see the raised floor in 3D. We have the gray sides and the tiling. Our third advanced option here that I will go through is balconies or entresols. And I'm going to show you how you can create a balcony section right here. So to start, I'm actually going to use custom objects again and the custom floor option. And I think you remember this. We're going to create a custom floor section right here. So I'm going to trace this area of the room and close it up. And we have that zone and we can readjust a little bit. Then from the object property menu, since we're doing a balcony now, I'm going to raise this up four meters. And for the base, the floor of the balcony, uh, let's make that two decimeters thick. Then I'm simply going to select the floor material and let's do a material industrial floor like that. And the bottom, let's pick a color white and the side material will do gray. So now if we've done this correctly, we now have a balcony section that's four meters raised up and it has a floor thickness of two decimeters. So let's have a look at that in 3D. There we go. We have the balcony section. Now if I start adding equipment here, and we're just going to drag out some sample objects. Let's just go down to standard libraries. I'm going to drag out a plant here into my floor plan and you'll see that it uh, as a default ends up on this floor. But it's very easy to use the altitude tool and drag it up and it will actually snap to my new balcony section right there and I can easily move it around afterwards. I'll do that one more time. Hold down the left mouse button, drag out, it comes onto the default main floor. Then I can use the uh, altitude tool and raise this up and it will snap to my custom floor shape right there. 